What do Starbucks, Rain Wilson, and the Foo Fighters have in common? Anybody? They're all from Seattle, just like the dog we're making today. Word on the street in Seattle is that the guy that started this Seattle dog used to be purveyor of bagels. And one day he wanted to put meat and bagels together and he took a bagel in regular bagel shape, more like a bialy without the big hole in the middle and split it open and put cream cheese and a hot dog in it. And that was the beginning of the Seattle dog. So what do you really need for a Seattle dog? Well, you gotta have a bun, you gotta have cream cheese. But if you wanna be true to yourself, true to the origins of it, you should have it on a bagel hot dog bun. You just can't buy them, so we're gonna make them. Yes, we're gonna make them. Wait do you see this whole thing going on, it's gonna be fantastically delicious. And we start by making bagel. And we begin with a packet of active yeast, about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. That's the yeast food. And then we give it one half a cup of warm water and warm is somewhere between 100 and 120 degrees. Too cold, it won't activate the yeast. Too hot, it'll kill the yeast. And you don't want to be a yeast murderer. That was violent on my part. Give it a little stir, set it off to the side for five minutes, and we go to the mixer. And into our stand mixer, we put three and a half cups of bread flour, which looks like this. I have a little bit extra in here in case I need it. Can you come at a little bit of a better angle? Oh, did I just block everything for you? But well, we got Chancellor up there. I know. You, do you want me to do it again? Me? No, no, I just... I'll do it again. I don't hate... about coming in at a better angle. I don't like, think. If I asked you to put that in with your left hand, you would yourself. No, I'd have to come in like that, but I would have done it. No, I'm mean, happy to do it. You have to go in like that. Why can't you just go My in like left a hand here? person like that? Yeah. What did I do, that? Yes, there you go. We have three cameras. Can't one of them get me no matter what. Yeah, but I, just, why don't you... Do you want me to cap capture this beer and put it under your hat? I need two teaspoons of kosher salt that I will not get my hands anywhere near. You like this move? I do because should they all be like that? Back side of your right hand. Listen, right buddy. Hand. Listen, buddy. So we're just gonna put on our dough hook. You can't do this with your hands, by the way. When we made bagels the first time, I did them with my hands. Now give this just a little mix. Turn it down a bit, and now we can come in with our yeast. You see how it bloomed up? See what it did? It gets all this foamy sh top. That's what you want. If it doesn't do that, your yeast is dead. Pour this in. Get every good little drop. It also gets three quarters of a cup of warm water. Again, not too hot, 100 to 120. Lock her down and we start kneading. And we want to go until this is a nice smooth ball, probably five minutes, just let it happen. Whatever you do, just don't get your arm in the way of Max's cameras. And when it looks like this, perfect. Take it off. Give it a little bit more kneading before we put it into a bowl. So a little flour first. Now this guy. Hey, get off my hand. You can turn him a bit. So I want him fairly smooth. You can see it's, it's getting there, but a little bit smoother is where I'm headed. So just spend a couple minutes doing this to get him where you want. And by the way, this is what I would do if I didn't have a mixer. I would just do a lot more of it. And if you need a little bit more flour, give it a little bit more flour. And when you're satisfied, we want to do this. Make the kid a nice little ball. Get a bowl, little shot of olive oil in the bowl. Take a paper towel, mush it around the sides and the bottom. Put your ball in, be nice to it. Cover it up with a kitchen towel. Put it in a warm spot for about an hour. We have a sudden out of bees. Suddenly there's bees here and, and everybody's like bailing on me. Let's, go, let's see if I can get any of them. They seem to want, they like these lights. There's a couple over there. I don't know if you can see that. Float up here, right above you. What? They're all right above you. Oh god, they're everywhere. I'm literally just like hearing them in my ear. So what are we doing here, guys? I got bagel dough to make. Well, I don't know what to do. What to do here? We can go buy an EpiPen. Buddy, buddy, please. Yeah, that one's just your head. Down. Jesus, <laughs> he's <laughs> dive bombing me. <laughs> he's still on you. Oh my god, you literally <laughs> won't leave. He's Where still the <laughs> Are they starting to leave? I don't know. I thought they were, but I just. Did you want me to go like look in the front and see if there's? Well, what do, what, but but if there are, there. what do I'll look? But what do we do if they're?
<laughs> it's like the whole world. All right, and after about an hour, we have this. Lovely, isn't it? And as long as I don't get stung to death, we can continue. We all took a moment trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. Okay, this is our dough. We punch it down. You've seen me do this before. Three, four fingers. Boom, and then it, sh it shrinks. So now I still have some flour left. Let's do this. We'll take it out. Beautiful. So this is a lightly greased sheet pan that you can see. So this would make eight bagels, but I gotta think about this because I want hot dog rolls out of it. So if I kind of square it up, I think I'm gonna get six or eight. I haven't done this. So one, no, that's about right. Two. So I'm gonna make like six of these basically. If they're not exact, that's cool because I'm not exact. Four, five, six, six, six. Okay, and now I want to get them essentially bun size, which I think is going to be like this. Oops, don't attach yourself. Does that look about right? I think this is going to do it? Because they're going to get bigger. Okay, let's take these guys. We're going to put them on here. I don't want them to get too big though. Like this guy, this guy looks perfect. What happened to this kid? That first one it was a disaster. Her. That looks like a bun. Yeah, I got, for sure I got one good looking one. Can you hear that? Could you, I don't know if, if you can hear the, the buzzing going past my head. Yes. You can hear it? It's all around my head too. <laughs> okay, well I don't know if I'm doing this, if this is gonna work or not, or if I need to make a, a totally round-ish one. Hey, hey buddy. So this will go here now, and I don't know if this is even a good idea. Okay, let's not do that to all of them. Now we take a slightly damp towel, put it over the top, we leave this now for 10 minutes, but we can start some bacon and onion. And here's what we've got. Bacon and onions. Diced bacon, getting it crispy. Well, look, sometimes I like a piece of bacon on a dog, but lately I've been putting bacon on in pieces like this and it eats so much better. And I think it looks great too. And here we're just caramelizing some yellow onion. There's nothing in here except a little bit of butter. And now there's a little butter and some salt and pepper. And these guys are basically perfect. So I'll take them off. I don't need any more love. We'll finish this up getting crispy. Take another couple minutes. I'll let that happen. But when the buns or bagels, whatever you're making, have rested 10 minutes, now we can boil them, get them ready for the oven. And after 10 minutes, they look pretty much no different. I hope this is gonna work out. So this is a pot of boiling water, as you would see. And these guys are gonna go in a couple at a time for 90 seconds a side. And we will just lovingly pick one up and drop it. And the same with two and three. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're not gonna be the most beautiful looking buns I've ever seen, but I think you're gonna be happy with them. This guy could be okay, he could be a contender. I got another couple here that might work. God, I just got dive bombed. You did? Yeah. Okay, at the 90 second mark, we turn them over, 90 seconds on that side. When they're done, I'll take them out. I'll put them on the baking sheet on parchment, put the other three in. And out they come. Just let them dry a bit and give them a little love on a towel and put them on the parchment paper. And that is too damn big for anybody. And so is this guy. I'm gonna make the other guys a little smaller before I put them in. Do you see this bee here? This loves me. And when they're out, while we're waiting for those guys, one, two, and three. Here's what we're gonna do. So a little egg wash. It's just a beaten egg with about a tablespoon of water. You can go over everybody. Just a nice light coat just on the top. And you'll see the reason for this is it helps with color, but also it will help our everything bagel seasoning stick. And like when we made bagels, proper bagels, said you can put anything you want on. One of my favorites was like dried onion and salt and pepper. All right, these guys get their turn. I'll take them out and I'll do the same thing. And out they come. Nice little bit of draining and on they go. Nice little bit of draining, on they go. And our final guy is here. Oh yes, we definitely have a couple contenders. And on we go. Ow, this guy's, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, watch this, hold on. I don't like the way they are. And everybody gets the same egg wash and then seeds. All right, my oven is on to 425. These guys are gonna go in for 20 to 25 minutes until they're beautiful. Oh God, Max's camera lens, hold on. I just have to throw it now. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. See you in 25 minutes, but I'm coming back to start the dogs. So these are smoked Polish dogs. They're gonna be amazing. I'm gonna give them a little bath in the hot water that the bagels were in, just to plump them up a little bit, and then they're gonna come over here to the flat top to get finished. 
So here's how they look. And you can see, look, I like them when they're plumped up. And now to the flat top, we're gonna give it a little butter. Stay here, butter, and a little oil. And put our guys on, just like that, and start them browning and getting tremendous. I'm very excited about how this is gonna turn out. I think, actually, once they're done, I'm gonna slice down the middle, leave a hinge, then give them a press down flat on here, just for a little extra texture and crispness. But I'm telling you, they're like, they're bursting at the seams. You see how they get so plumpy, I love that. Look, here's one of these other guys again. It's a whole different animal. It's a good way to go. Plump first, then finish on the flat top. Oh, they're busting, nice. Okay, so these guys are beautiful on the outside. Starting to split a little bit. Pop and spit is what they're doing. So I'm gonna take them off, and right when the bagels are ready, I'll throw them back on just to finish them before we build. And after what was closer to 25 minutes, ha, ha, ha. ah, success. They're a bit, uh, a band of misfits, I would say, wouldn't you? But they're I would. freaking beautiful. I mean, look, if I'd weighed them and taken more time to get them the exact length, but you know, uh, it is what it is. Should we cut this guy open? Because this guy's too long for our dogs. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Yep, look at that. Oh, bagel inside. But now, just because we're right here and we have this, just a little cream cheese and one bite, right? Just to see what we've done. I don't know if you could hear it, crispy outside. Super tender. Mm. <clears throat> you have to make your own bagels. You don't have to make them this shape unless you're doing a dog, but. Okay, we're gonna take one of these guys, cut them open, cut the dog open. We expose them both butterflied to the flat top, and then we build, and then psh, party time. All right, here's our dogs and here's our bagel. Bun, bagel bun. So I'm going like this. Don't f up, sorry. Glory be. So I'm gonna put this guy on the flat top and get a little color so he'll be open like that. And this guy, same thing. Let's take him and go like this. Oh, hallelujah. All right, on they go. It's a little oil for the bun, like this. I cut it a bit wonky, but now this guy. So just a little color on both. There we go. Don't forget, we got the bacon too. Tiny bit more, see how this guy's doing. Beautiful. This guy gets 30 more seconds. Beautiful. This guy's off, this guy, another half a minute, get a little more color on the backside, and we're there. All right, let's go. And we start like this. So the obvious thing is gonna be cream cheese. And you don't wanna be a shithead and just put a tiny bit. So don't. Give it a decent amount. Right down the center. Now, Mr. Happy Dog comes in here. How am I gonna eat this? Max, how am I gonna eat this? Get a little bit of onion, like that. And then a little bacon right down the alley, like that. There you go. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge because I think you gotta push that down in so you can get it shut. It's, oh, it's, look, at, look at what it's doing. Holy shit. All right, I just have to go for it. I'm just going for it. When I worked at Ontogen Corporation in Carlsbad, California, almost every day, one of my friends, Mark Huxhold, would come into the office with a toasted bagel with cream cheese and bacon. And the first time I saw him with it, I thought it sounded awful. Then I had a bite. It is not awful. It's an incredible combination. So we've done it, essentially, by adding a dog and caramelized onions. Oh, and we made our own bagel bun. Uh-oh. Polish dog, way more flavor than a regular dog. Bagel bun, crispy, texture on the outside, all the bagel seasoning, but then soft inside. Kills a hot dog bun, kills. Caramelized onions make everything better, bacon makes everything better, but the cream cheese is the thing that pulls this together. Fortunately, I got another one because these boys are gonna wanna get down on this very quickly. It's a mess, it's a crazy delicious mess, and you will love it. 
Thanks for being here with us. Hit the uh, like and subscribe button. The notification bell just tells you when we put new videos on YouTube. You don't have to come looking. We look for you, but we're not annoying about it. And go to shopstcg.com for pens and knives and your BFF seasoning. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. See ya. Where do I even go? Thank you.